progress, green growth frameworks remain limited in terms of comprehensive policy frameworks in this region and in producing the on-the-ground results that we all hope to achieve. The challenges that WWF sees is to coordinate the action on achieving green growth at regional, national and subnational levels, to integrate green economy approaches into the core functions of GMS government, so it's following through on the linkages between environment and development. And finally, to set economic, environmental and social policy targets that allow responsible private sectors to thrive. We are here today because in part we recognize that transitioning to green growth is possible in this region. This is a part of the world still rich in the natural capital, which is described as a fundamental pillar of green economies. But losses of ecosystems and their integrity are also a notable trend here, showing that the development versus environment model of economic growth still dominates. Much work remains to be done to truly see the divisions between economic, social and environmental goals dismantled, and realistic alternatives developed that prove investment in environment creates long-term value added for society. So what are some targets that for all work together as a community of practice on green economy in this region? Well, we suggest that as we've heard from other speakers, one key target is to make green economy concrete and scalable. The rhetoric is in place in many national development plans, but then there is a need to trickle down for trickle down effect so that green economy is inclusive and shown to produce benefits for all people across this region. We need to focus on key priorities. There is a risk of wasted effort and lost efficiency given the many, many international actors and local actors that have gathered around the green economy agenda in, this, in these countries. This is a dynamic area of work in the greater Mekong and with a myriad of in initiatives. It's easy to see how we can each become over-focused on just our part of the puzzle and lose sight of how we connect one to the other. Finally, we'd suggest that we need to assess the materiality of ecosystems and environmental and social impacts on private sectors in the greater Mekong subregion and look for new solutions created here in this region and for this region. Sustainability and philanthropy are often confused in corporate social responsibility discussions here. The existing dialogue at CSO focuses more on telling companies from outside why doing business here is different, rather than speaking to Asian business about why responsible business is a good strategy for them as well. So in terms of what we can do, we feel that now is the right time to understand the current challenges and opportunities coming our way, and to focus our efforts in our different roles to work better together. And how can we achieve this? We need to include and network all relevant actors in our discussions and dialogues in each of our individual uh, sectors or experiences. We need to complement each other in, in, in our work and see ourselves as having niches but working together to produce a holistic way forward on greening economies in this region. And we can assist international green economy actors with interests in working in this region to understand better the state of play and key priorities that need to be addressed for us to advance here. So what is WWF doing to contribute to this? Well, our newly established Green Economy Initiative aims to use our niche expertise on natural capital to also spread the word on the, the more holistic picture for green economy in this region. In terms of private sector, we want to contribute to understanding what enabling conditions responsible business need to transform markets. We aim to play a key role in convening and supporting dialogue on this particular issue. Finally, WWF can contribute lessons from the field in payments for ecosystem services scheme, benefits sharing mechanisms, and innovative economic value addition in natural resources management. To close, I would just like to reiterate that I see this conference as an opportunity to hear what you have to say, where you see this region headed, and where you think we need to do together. My personal hope is that this event is the start of a community of practice where we learn from each other and coordinate efforts better across the GMS countries. <laughs> to add to Javid's how questions from earlier, I'd like to ask you now, can we in the next few days discuss how we can enable better coordination between ourselves as a very first step to advancing the green economy agenda? I wish each and every one of you a successful event and thank you very much for your participation.